A few hours ago, a new add-on arrived for Blender 2.8, and that is the Advanced Boolean 2, or ABT by ND9H. I think his name is a little bit difficult to pronounce. If you know it, let me know. Then um, <coughs> we have here a cube. I will show you first the user interface, and it's pretty handy. So what we see first is the the boolean operations, uh, the bevel. I think these are more for the an edit mode, except this one. We can use it also in object mode, quick modifiers. These ones, and this is pretty handy. Sometimes you want to switch quickly over to. We want to see the wire, and sometimes the wire is annoying. We want to switch it off. And the bevel preview is to make bevel normal tools and the mesh tools to clean up mainly. So what I how I would use the add-on is as follows. So I go in object mode and then I shift A oh, sh sorry shift S curse to selected object mode shift A M C Scale that down, scale on the X axis. Control A, apply scale. And now we can use uh, the add on, like uh, slice, and then we apply bevel here, yes. Bevel, Alt X, bevel adjust. We have to move the mouse to the left. Then you see here quite an ugly um, a bevel, like here. And here you can see it also good thing we have here shaded wire now quite uh, ugly but we can easily change it and that is the outer meter put it an arc and then we have way better uh, bevels so put that slightly down and good thing we can turn that quickly off otherwise we have to go to this tab then we have to go to the viewport display and then turn that on and off. So that's quite uh, searching. So then another example, shift S goes to selected object mode, shift A, M, C, scale it down, scale on Z, uh, scale, you are going to edit mode or we can apply, apply already uh, a difference so still we can go in edit mode select uh, the edges make a bevel go out of edit mode and then alt x quick modifier mirror get this picker here and, and get that uh, cube so that's also pretty handy. So then I would go on like uh, that. So free of face, shift S goes to select uh, shift A, M, Y to get the cylinder and scale that uh, down. Uh, S, shift set. So um, we need to apply always scale. And then let's do again. No, let's do a union this time. That looks pretty nice. So there are also other things I'm not so familiar with. So maybe I make a few mistakes, but let's try it. So B box select X. Mm -hmm. So I add a modifier here, a bevel modifier with weight, and then I go over here, select this edge, Alt X, and then this is a bit confusing for me, it says harden edge, uh, that's a new for me that uh, term, what does it say Alt X, normal options. 
so. And if we go here, and that one, we have another bevel modifier, so we have two then. Then, I forgot to change that. And go there, Alt X, no soften edge. Harden edge. Um, bevel weight, adjust the bevel weight. All right. Um, so I got it. So we have done two bevel modifiers. One is working on the weight, and another one is working on the angle. The ones working on the weight go in edit mode, select this edge, Alt X, and with the bevel modifier working on the weight, we can use these ones. Uh, I want some smooth uh, shading. I'm not sure if this add-on has that. Auto weight, no more. No more. Yeah, that's that one. Shade smooth. No. Shade smooth. Oh, yes. Then up X. Oh, do we? No, I think that's the one. No, uh, why not uh, this one? All right. So that's, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's try one more thing. So, just to select it on a mesh scale. Scale down, scale Z. Then, apply scale. Difference. Ooh. Ooh. Difference. Go on that mode. What happened to you? Ah, so we have to put this up. And one more, one more. So, yeah. So we have a bevel modifier, and this is the. What's that? Um, that's not a bevel. So we have to put this one as last. All right. <laughs>